Hello and welcome to this short video about the most significant changes in Layer 7 Privileged Access Manager 3.3, formerly known as CA Privileged Access Manager. 3.3 is a major release that provides many important new and enhanced features. Don't worry about remembering all that I'm going to tell you. All this information and more is available in the CA Privileged Access Manager documentation at docops.ca.com on the new features and enhancements in 3.3 page. The first major enhancement I'd like to highlight is the new clustering replication architecture. The old replication architecture is out. Replaced by a new MySQL version 8 group replication based architecture with the following benefits. You can now add and remove sites and members without stopping the cluster, reducing maintenance downtime. Self-healing of out-of-sync cluster members is extended. Vulnerability to split-brain scenarios is greatly reduced. Connections use TLS mutual authentication. WAN traffic is reduced as secondary site leaders distribute replication among each site. Finally, you can now purge logs of all members in a site from any site member. The second major enhancement that I'd like to share with you is the Custom Connector Framework. Credential Manager provides an extensive list of out-of-the-box application types and associated target connectors. But what if your application isn't one of them? What can you do? Now there's an answer. Use the new Custom Connector Framework to develop a custom application type and target connector for your application. The third highlight of 3.3 is support for the latest recommended strong cryptographic algorithms to secure SSH communications for the following components. The SSH access method, the Cisco target connector for credential management, and the Unix target connector for credential management. I'm not going to read them all out, but for those that like the details, here are the algorithms supported during an SSH handshake in 3.3. The fourth new feature highlight is PivCAC custom field mapping for Active Directory. You can now map specific fields from PivCAC smart cards to fields in Active Directory for authentication on the custom field mapping tab of the LDAP configuration. By default, the smart card subject name is mapped to the DN Active Directory attribute and the subject alt name on the card is mapped to the UPN attribute. Use the subject name and subject alt name drop down lists to alter these mappings. For example, you might want to map subject alt name to alt security identities. The final new feature highlight is credential manager support for Azure Active Directory. To manage Azure Active Directory accounts, you first create an application in Azure. In the PAM UI, you configure a target account using the Azure Access Credential Accounts application. Remember, these are just a few of the highlights. Refer to the documentation to learn about 3.3's many other new features and enhancements. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. For more information about Layer 7 Privileged Access Manager, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there you can go to the product documentation, visit CA support or CA communities and see the learning paths.